Hey, how's it going today? So first of uh, March, uh, Friday, and we are taking a look at the market. I thought I would be taking a look at space, right? In my previous video, I was taking a look at education and potentially receiving finance when it comes to offering education. If uh, any of you would like to offer some projects, uh, have covered briefly the process, right? As of now, I uh, might need to read all the documents, so uh, as of now, I haven't done it, right? So that, that's as of now my feedback. <laughs> that's pretty good. In the today, let's take a look at a uh, different organization. It would be still UK and what kind of opportunities uh, might be available with regards to space, right? I'll be taking a look at it. Not necessarily, I think, what uh, people they are looking for, it would be very young individuals, perhaps. That's what they're looking for, not necessarily for industry, so unquote, quote, unquote, right? Uh, they still like to understand some of the opportunities, if anything. Usually it's for students, some degree, right? <laughs> but let's say for business or industry. And, uh, those people, industry, not necessarily, they need to be encouraged to engage with the new <laughs> business. is just there, right? But either way, let's take a look at this part uh, of uh, process of the DK space design competition. That's how to understand it. Uh, yesterday I was uh, uh, looking to find finance and something I was looking yesterday so I have uh, pulled out a lot of uh, ways of um, receiving finance if anything something I was trying to understand yesterday but I haven't read it right I have read previously about six months ago a lot of articles a lot of information I have done a lot of homework uh, recent, uh, re research so to say but uh, I haven't read it right what is uh, UK as DC? UK is a uh, space design competition. is a multidisciplinary space team competition designed to be simulation of life in, in industry. <laughs> I thought they meant life in space. Why in industry? But either way, either way, let's forget. <laughs> I'm kind of interested what, what this organization is all about. It is supported by Space Science Engineering and Environment Foundation. Perhaps it's non profit, but I don't know. Uh, students from multiple schools are. Okay, okay. Uh, I don't know who have written it, but uh, that's not the way how things should be uh, written. But either way, either way, that doesn't matter. My opinion doesn't matter. Uh, schools are combined for <laughs> to form engineering company and take on the task of designing crude space settlement with our solar system. What they are looking to achieve is very important by the way and it's a very hard thing to do by the way. I'm, <laughs> I'm doing some bits and pieces of that but it's a very, very hard thing to do so I do understand what they are looking to accomplish and uh, <laughs> perhaps in the future we're gonna be looking to progress into uh, simulating life on space or something as of now, the the way how it's written, what you doing? Set between 40 to 80 years in the future, students able to lose themselves in the elaborate and uh, expensive SDC universe, and they form one of our fictional engineering companies. <laughs> the universe is completed with over 20 fictional settlements and 50 subcontractors that provide an array of goods services that can help competitors in their quest for or to try and tackle. The quest for a proposal. This this part is very important. I never seen anyone doing anything like that since uh, when you have a company, when you actually really they really doing I don't know they playing uh, playing something. But either way, when you actually having a company, this process is very complex and it's very hard to do. Sometimes when it comes to completing some of those contracts, you might need to engage with uh, two hundred subcontractors, right? Yeah, <laughs> so it's, this process is very hard and we're looking to engage with some of the individuals as early as possible, right? Open to UK students in years to 10 to 13, the UK DSC gives students a test of the uh, vast potential offered by future study of STEM subjects throughout their fun and engaging simulation of career in industry. I don't know if I have covered uh, this uh, part, if I mean, it's very important, by the way, it's very important when you have a company, this part is very, very important. Since it's, it's that important, I don't know if I have covered uh, properly <laughs> of everything, what wouldn't be needed to do, right? 
since uh, they're jumping between a uh, number of subjects, right, within the way how it's been written, right? They like to simulate life experience on the moon, but not exactly, and they were jumping into uh, contracts and legal agreements, right? But either way, let's uh, progress. Uh, to give my honest feedback, right, the, this organization uh, is looking uh, to offer a trip to NASA, right? So that's going to be US, as well as uh, International Space Settlement Design Competition, Australia. Uh, I'm looking to uh, dig a couple of other uh, continents or countries, Asia and the, the Asian okay, and North America, as well as European, African Space and Galactic Challenge. None of these organizations have landed. <laughs> <laughs> NASA itself, I don't know how they, much they have paid from a taxpayer's money, two billion, to land on the moon. <laughs> if you would ask me, I mean, I get it. But they would rather you know, yourself as a professional you know, focused on people who are actually accomplishing things, right? So those things, uh, there's a company recently, last week, that landed in Texas, right? That's a private company. If you'd ask me, I'm more interested in that company other than these organizations. Those organizations are there, people are there, they're getting paid, not necessarily all based, all performance based. Uh, they're just there, they're doing things. If you would ask me, uh, even the previously I mentioned, right, the uh, European Space Agency would show you some pictures of how the process or what they're going to do. But the uh, uh, European Space Agency haven't landed. There's nothing to show other than pictures. <laughs> Quickly, right, uh, even the picture in the background uh, is something that they're sharing, right? The same ESA is sharing the same pictures of what they're going to be doing on the uh, different planets. They're going to do uh, build a habitat and all those kind of things, right? If you ask me, ESA and uh, this organization should focus on landing. That's the first milestone. Land on a moon. Perform there. Once you landed on the moon, you can progress to other places like Mars, right? Or uh, at least have capabilities of doing it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you cannot do it, how I can progress into building habitats, right? And uh, wasting more time and money into other areas than perhaps uh, accomplishing first one, accomplishing second one, if you would ask me, right? Either way, I like to engage with the demons here, where perhaps we can work together, see perhaps they can change my mind, change my opinion. <laughs> perhaps building habitat on moon uh, is more important than landing on the moon first, right? Or uh, what was uh, previously completed, right? First, you would need to land it, uh, keep uh, your space shuttle on the moon for a day or two, lift it up and come back to earth right later you need to take on the well, i don't know what was the process right they have taken the dog after that that would be the next milestone third milestone they perhaps take a person there that's the third one fourth one perhaps land it and stay there for a week <laughs> all process right so perhaps small uh, uh measurable and from there we can consider building habitat <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, put together an offer, right? So there's a team there. I have found uh, contact information. I think it's a non-profit, it's a charity organization. And they're looking to assist people when it comes to uh, training and or perhaps uh, ways of securing contracts. It, it, that part is very, very important, right? So I see, uh, I'll, I'll, let's see how I can reach out to the team and uh, if I can make an offer, how I can help this team. If I can, right, I'll make this offer. <laughs> let's see what uh, uh, letter I could uh, put together. Okay, so uh, software have offered me an example or a template of how to reach out to this team and offer assistance if I can, if I can help them, right? And what they're looking to do, perhaps they uh, experience people within a space and they can and already help millions of people, right? That I'm not aware of, right? So there's uh, some ignorance there. <laughs> once, once that been said, I haven't read it, perhaps it's a great template, right? So let's see if we can reach out. Uh, usually there will be no response. Uh, let's close with that. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.